I thought it would be cool to put this animal into the South American exhibit we have here. Right, let's go ahead and get in here and see what we can do with this guy. This is so awesome, man. He is just exploring his new world. There's gonna be fish in there. Now, where is he? Hey, what's going on, everyone? It is a wet and windy day here in South Florida, but uh, we still have work to do. We wanna do something fun. I was realizing, there he is right now, there is the man of the hour, the Mata Mata. Here he is, look at this guy, what a beauty. We got this from Paul Cafaro. I had a Mata Mata for a long time here, and uh, then it went off to live at Fred's, and now we've got another Mata Mata, and today we're gonna bring it on over to Cayman Creek, because this is a South American turtle species, the most strange turtle in the world, in my opinion. It is a bizarro creature, and uh, I thought it would be cool to put this animal in to the South American exhibit we have here. Of course, I'm talking about Cayman Creek. There it is. We're gonna bring this guy over here. And I think he'll do very, very well living in this section of Cayman Creek with the smooth friend Cayman. And there the two Cayman are. Let's go ahead and get in here uh, and see what we can do with this guy. This is so awesome, man. Um, I was, it just hit me. I was like, wait a minute, that's a South American turtle. It doesn't need to live in a tub. We can keep it in here. Uh, and actually, you know what's funny is I'm smelling a musk. This guy puts off a bit of a musk. So uh, that's interesting. A little bit of a turtle musk. A lot of turtles will do that from time to time, including, oh yeah, including musk turtles. But let's have a look at this guy, huh? He's got that funny little face. It looks like he's smiling all the time. And um, he's got that snorkel nose. He's also got all these appendages here that just kind of are gonna wave around in the water and make him look like algae or the bottom of the pond. He's got this interesting shell, which is completely keeled. Uh, he's even got little snails living on him. Uh, so he's gonna blend in. And I do have a lot of South American cichlids that live in this pond. He is gonna eat them. Um, but don't worry because way up there, uh, where Lucifer lives is, you know, a ton of cichlids and the babies float down and they come on into this section. And even that top pool goes into Lucifer's section. And so the fish can swim back and forth. So I'm not worried about him eating up all the fish because there'll always be new fish making their way downstream. It is really cool though to see this guy because he is, man, it was just such a surprise to be perfectly honest. I didn't think I was gonna be getting another Mata Mata anytime soon. And when we went ahead and gave our fly river turtle to Paul, he was in the middle of a project and didn't have room for this turtle species. So how perfect is this, huh guys? He'll be able to kind of go under that log. He can post up in the bottom there. There's a lot of leaf litter in the bottom where he'll blend in nicely and he will be able to get some food for himself. Plus he'll eat pellets and things like that. And then once he gets used to me, I'll get tongs and I can feed him some of the fish that I catch off the tongs, which will be really cool as well. So it's all in all the perfect scenario here. And uh, my big Oscars are too big for him to eat, but you'll see there are some smaller fish in here that are actually going to be just perfect for him. And uh, since we have a really cool little ecosystem in our aquascape ecosystem pond, it's uh, perfect for us to get this done. I think it's amazing. So that's really, really cool. What I'm gonna do is also set up a little cam underwater so we can kind of see what's going on in there. Uh, very cool habitat. We've got the giant Mexican musk turtles that are living up in that section. I'm sure they wander down in here. But again, this turtle, much like our caiman, these turtles do not require tons and tons of water. They like shallow water. They basically just want little pools where there is food in it, and then they'll be able to kind of catch their food. They're not the best swimmers in the world, if you can believe that. These guys actually are more about climbing um, and kind of crawling around the bottom of the pond. So what I'm gonna do is set up a camera. You can see the fish in here already. Lots and lots of fishies. And what, oh boy, I already, I broke the stand. How did I do that? That's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna have some really cool fish coming on here. Um, and it'll be really neat to see. Oh boy, yeah, this stand's broken. Yikes. Oh well, so much for that. So much for that. Look at that, I snapped it. Oh, bummer. Anyway, that's life in the, fast-paced world of YouTube. Uh, all right, very cool. So we're just gonna stick that camera right down there and hope for the best. 
I think that'll work right like that. Okay, in the meantime, friends, let's check out the Cayman and Cayman Creek. Now these guys haven't messed with any of the turtles that I've put in here. So I'm not really worried about them messing with a larger turtle. He's gonna be the biggest turtle that we have in here. Um, so I don't have a name for him, but he's pretty amazing. Uh, again, let's have a look now at the bottom of this guy. Look at these webbed feet. He's concave. It is a male. Oh boy, that's a lot of musk. He's smelling good. Let's go ahead and get him on in there. Go on in there, buddy. You're in water. Come on. And then he'll figure it out, I'm sure. But uh, have a look around. Cayman Creek, such a cool spot. Again, we've got fish up here, okay? The young fish tend to float downstream and uh, that'll replenish that pool back there. Of course, we've got the fish over here in Lucifer's enclosure. Um, lots of fish in that upward wetland pond. Uh, and this pool is connected to this pool. But the animals, uh, all the animals except for fish, can't get back and forth. Although there is a twist neck turtle who has figured a way out uh, between the two of these enclosures. So the other cool thing, oh, he's starting to move. The other cool thing is that the water stays nice and warm in here because I'm able to run uh, well water through here. I think he's going to get moving. Uh, I can run the well water through here and that's pretty good stuff. So let's see him go down into this water. This is absolutely cool. Look at how beautiful. He's actually a really clean specimen because he's been living in Paul's house indoors. So I'm sure he's going to wind up getting himself uh, lots of lots of algae on him. And there he goes. He's just kind of blending in already. Look at this. He is so cool. You can really check him out and see what he's all about, friends. He is just exploring his new world. There's going to be fish in there. Uh, that's really neat. He's looking to kind of crawl into any kind of, um, he's looking to crawl into any crevice he can to hide. And I just love watching these guys explore. You know, that's the cool thing about owning these animals and taking care of them is you get to watch their behavior. And that's really the prize about keeping them. Look at him, he doesn't care about that caiman tail. He's just kind of checking everything out right now. So cool, man. Oh, that's awesome. And you know, the fish are gonna get really curious about him as well. Uh, and that's what's gonna, enable him to get a good meal. So there he is, look at this, beautiful. Look at that head, what an incredible shape to that head. Truly one of the most bizarre animals. So mata mata means kill kill in the native language. Uh, these guys are found, as I said, in South America. And so the indigenous people call them the mata mata and kill kill makes sense because they're always sucking up fish and they do it in a really peculiar way. They create a low pressure in their throats that sucks up the fish when the fish gets too close. They don't have very powerful jaws. Their jaws are made to kind of just fly open as fast as they can. They inflate their throat with water and they just get sucked in the fish. And so it's a really, really effective way for them to hunt their ambush predators. Look at this. Is he gonna get that fish right there? Is he hungry at the moment? This is exciting. The fish are getting closer. Wow, this should be an amazing addition and of course, I'm letting that leaf litter collect in the bottom of the pond. And that's what's really going to enable this guy to blend in and become part of the scenery. That's what we want. We want him to become part of the scenery. And uh, my goodness, this is really, really exciting, guys. I love watching this guy move around underneath. And again, he'll be able to wander way up in here and hide in the rock logs and things of that nature there. Um, there's fish all throughout. There are plenty of places for fish to hide, especially when they're growing. So that's fine. I'm not really worried about fish getting eaten into extinction here in this pond. These guys are actually going to do just fine. But again, the Mata Mata is just kind of in investigating his uh, surroundings. And that's what I want. I want this guy to be pumped. Super, super happy. Look at these different convict cichlids right here. Oh, these guys are going to, it's just a perfect representation of a South American stream. I love it. And right now, look at how beautiful that head is. It's so neat to see them actually underwater doing their thing. He's gonna just push that tail out of his way, I guess. That is cool, man. Holy smokes, I am so excited about this. I, I can't, it's so funny when he gave me the turtle, I was like, oh my gosh, where am I gonna put him? And then when I got him, I go, duh. This guy's perfect candidate for Cayman Creek, South American turtle species, as is this one right here. This is our Unifilis. That's the 
yellow spotted Amazon river turtle, they start out with a lot of beautiful spots. And then as they get larger, they lose those spots and they become one color. But these are a very cool species of turtle, side neck turtle, just like the Mata Mata. And uh, these guys are incredibly fast swimmers. The male is just past the female here. You can kind of see the male behind her. So I would love to get babies of this species. Very, very cool species here. So we really do have a nice, uh, a nice South American representation of reptiles in Cayman Creek. So cool. Now, where is he? Oh, there he is. Right back in there. There he is, still exploring. And it's so cool to see how the other animals are gonna interact with him. We got an albino convict cichlid right there. He looks beautiful. Once he realizes this is his new home, he's gonna just find his favorite spot and he's just gonna sit around and wait. Let's see, these guys are gonna come say hello, I think. Let's see what they do to the new kid on the block. Well, not much. Just kind of wandered past. That's amazing. You can really see the current also. Um, you know, these pumps that I have in here are powerful. Um, this pond or stream rather, can definitely handle quite a bio load um, because it is an ecosystem. We've got snail, we've got fish, we've got microorganisms doing their thing. Um, so it's really an effective ecosystem that's keeping the water clean. We're turning over a lot of water every hour. There's about 12,000 gallons of water turning over every hour. Uh, just incredible pumps that we have here from Aquascape. And there he is now wandering back this way uh, just seeing his neck outstretched like that, very, very cool. Uh, love, I love it, man. This is so awesome. So I'm so psyched that Paul uh, randomly, that I randomly kind of decided to call Paul, and uh, he had this turtle here um, that we can now keep in this pond in a really natural way. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get some cool footage of him hunting one day. That would be amazing. So. There you have it, man. An amazing opportunity for me to have a very, very cool animal. Once again, we've got a Mata Mata here at the camp in Cayman Creek. Perfect. Our little slice of South America. I am so thrilled for this. And of course, look at my buddies over there. Sonny and Cher just kind of hanging out. It's a drizzly day and uh, well, they're just enjoying themselves in this warm water. So very, very cool.